I like to start things off with a brand new level. So here in your content folder, right click and then look for level. And let's call this night level. And double click to open this one. And you can select your you can save your selected level. Then in here, what I like to do now is here into settings, we need to show the engine content so we can access to the engine. So click on this engine. This is important or else this won't work. And then you're going to look for Skysphere. Type it in. And you can find the blueprint BP Skysphere. And then you can drag this in. If you no longer want to see this engine map, you can just deselect this once again, but your BP Skysphere is still there. Now here's the magic uh, is going to be. With your BP Skysphere selected under details, we can scroll down to override settings and you can see the sun height. Now when you decrease the sun height to minus one and then you look up, wow, there are stars. So we already have a pretty cool scene going on right here. And you can even increase the star brightness. So it's set at 0.1. But beyond, D gets uh, crazy. So I like this uh, from default is 0.1. I like to keep this between 0.1 and 0.2. So something like this should look cool. And for a player to walk on here, I'm going to go from selection mode to landscape. Let's create this very simple landscape for now. So I'm going to hit the create button. Back to selection. And then when we move up, we have our landscape right here. You can see this is pretty dark. So there is some setup left to do. First of all, I can drag in here. A player start and now when I hit play you can see my player is in the dark but we already have a, a pretty cool sky going on so how we can fix this is we can go to window and then here the environment light mixer this is the one we are going to use and we are going to need a skylight now this could also be a moon so click here on skylight then I'm going to create atmospheric light this is also the one we are going to need so we have lighting going on here and the height fog I don't need clouds and the sky atmosphere right here I'm going to ignore for now. So let's do some basic setup first. Right here we have the directional light. With this one selected, you can hold Ctrl L and angle the place where you want uh, to position your moon. So let's say about there maybe, and then you can let go. Now I accidentally also uh, L clicked to bring in a point line, so I'm going to delete this one. So for my directional light, so with Ctrl L you can position it. What I'm going to do then is scroll here to intensity. Right now it's at 10 lux. Now I can decrease this because this is nighttime to something more around 4. And the light color, maybe you like some uh, effect, maybe you like this already. But you can see you can get some really uh, cool lighting going on. Maybe something purple bluish like this could work. And you can click on OK. Then the skylight you can leave as this, but you can get some little effect. You can see by hitting this eye icon what happens. So I'm going to use uh, this as this. And then the height fog. So click here on the height fog, the exponential height fog. You can see when you disable this, maybe you like this effect already a bit better. But I'm going to leave this on to show you the possibilities of this. If you like it as this, you can delete this. But you can also have this one selected. And then go down here to fog density. You put this at zero. You can see you have your night scene like this or you can just put it a little bit but for testing purposes i put it back at default by clicking here on this arrow and then we can here see the fog and scattering color now you can drag this up a little bit and then you can also tweak this color so for example you like more of a pink world but don't overdo this because you can already see uh, the things that are going on right here so maybe you like this effect, for example, and you can click on OK, maybe a little more to the greenish side, for example. You can click OK, and then you can still tweak the density, so you don't have too much exaggeration going on. And then the height fall off of this. So about here may be fine. And you can click here on the eye icon, maybe you like this fog effect, maybe you don't. You hit play, so to see what your player sees. So this is the effect with the fog without the fog and this is the effect with the fog so you can see my player walks here and this is basically how you can set up a night scene but if you like to you can also bring in the texture so for example here in google you can look for a moon texture download it onto your computer and then drag it in or real i look this uh, moon texture i think this looks pretty cool so what i can do then is click here and i can uh, drag in the shape for example this sphere let's scale the sphere up to a pretty good size and uh, let's put them into the sky let's first increase my camera speed 
Okay, something like this should be cool. And then I can right click, create a material out of this texture. And this material I can then drag onto the moon right here. And now when I hit play, you can see the scene lighting up when I start my game. And I can look around and then I can find my moon right there, for example. Now, um, a good thing to do is check out with Ctrl L where the light was placed. So it was more here on this side. And then move your moon into that position. You can also move it a bit down. And then you can hit play and test things out again. And you can see there is the moon. And you can see some cool lighting effect also going on right there. So maybe that's something you like. So that step is optional, but at least now you have a pretty cool nighting scene. Don't forget to grab the free game dev toolkit in the description down below this video. You will get my free ebook on how to get better at game development, a free game design document to plan out your projects, and a free tutorial series where you create a platformer game from scratch. And those who are hungry for more, I offer a sneak peek and overview of my new premium course, The Unreal Vault, where you learn how to create beautiful levels, create a game from scratch to finish, and how to set up boss fights and create dragon fights with different attacks, including fire breathing. So, if this sounds like a good deal to you, I see you there. Click the link and grab your game dev toolkit now while it's still free.